Now we've got a plate here with four circular holes, hopefully, and we want to dimension them. So we'll select that surface on which to put our annotation plane when we select the dimensioning tools. Right, let's put an annotation plane on that surface and there's the annotation plane. Now we can dimension from here to there. Excellent. And we can dimension from... Oh, wait a minute. Where's the centre? It's a centreless circle. We can't find the centre, so how can we dimension to the centre? We can dimension that, and oh, we can dimension to a, an edge. Oh, we can dimension a diameter. 8 millimeters, but we can't do dimension to a center. Well, what about this? Again, it's a centerless circle. Where can we dimension? Again, we can dimension to here 5.84. Now, what's going on with that dimension? Oh, oh, eight millimeter, that's right. So we can't damage to the center of that one either. What about this one? No, there's no center cross coming in. We can dimension, oh, up to there. We can dimension the diameter, but we cannot dimension to the center of it. We can now have a dimension from there to the edge. So what is going on? I've got it turned slightly so we can see the inside of these holes we've cut through. And we don't want the dimensioning, we want to go back to the select tool and right click that and select pro properties. Well this is the one we could dimension to the center and shape cylinder yes that's okay round false. I don't know what this means round false is that a round on the edge that is saying is false? I'm just going to put a round on and see if that proves my theory. Uh, oh, one. Okay. I put a round on there. Select. Oh, it is. Round is still false. I don't know what it means that it's false. There seems to be a choice here. No, suppose I make it true. Oh, it won't have it. So 
I want to select that. Round true. Ah, oh, yes. It's a round on the edge. There we go, we've solved that one. Radius one millimetre round true. Okay. Now then, what about this? Where there's no centre. Select it. Properties. Ah, this could be a reason why it hasn't a centre. Because it's a spline. That's not a true hole. Might be saying eight millimeters, but it's not a true hole. Let's try something. Right, I'm going to change the accuracy of these dimensions by going up to here and selecting units. Primary position, pre precision, if I get my teeth in straight, is 2. I'm going to jack that up to maximum, which is 6. And show trailing zeros. OK. Ah. Well, looky here. It's still showing an accuracy of 8 millimeters because that one was punched in when the plates were parallel. That's the distance from there to there, not the diameter of the circle. I mean, if we go to the diameter, well, it's given us a radius. which is reasonably accurate so we're happy with that so that's fine but look at this these bottom ones were put in when the front plate was at an angle of one degree select the face properties Ah, we don't want this, so shift that to select. And we've got here, shape is a cylinder, round is false, we know what that means. The sharp edges are not round ones. But it looks as though it should have a centre, the same as that one. But if we put it square, it doesn't come up with a cross. like that one does. See that one's got a cross in, this one has not. But it looks as though it should have a centre. Same as that one, see? We've got a line in there. So it's just a little bit confusing. Square it up. We get a cross in a true circle but we don't get a cross in a splined circle and we don't even get a centre line in this one which is made with a projection so I think we've solved our little problem if you want to be able to dimension holes made from a hole somewhere else it has to be pulled through a filled in circle and it has to be from a piece of material whose face is parallel to the one that you're putting the secondary hole in. Problem solved. But it can be confusing to newbies when first um, trying to get grips with Design Spark Mechanical. It is a powerful program but it needs a little bit of thought and brain activity to get your head completely around it. And in case you're interested, here's how all four holes were generated. 
The first thing I did was to draw a couple of rectangles. Oh, let's see. 2 by 10, 20, 30, 40. One there and one here. P for pull tool. Select one, control, select the other. Then type in 100. And we've got a couple of parallel things. They're a bit uh, tall. I'm going to make them 50. That's better. Then turn them to faces like so. Make sure you've got on display camera. You've got all the graphic. And we're going to now put some circles on here. We'll make them eight millimeters. Now they are true circles. And we need to be aware of that. P for pull. And I'm going to pull these and select them all and pull them through to make four holes. All exactly the same. Now Going from top to bottom and left to right, I'm going to select, just like the select tool, and select the inner edge, top left hand one, and select the fill tool. Now that creates surface in there, which we can now pull. Make sure the arrow is pointing straight out and we've selected the subtract icon there. Pull it and we should get a hole through the back one. So that's one method of creating a similar hole. And on this one I'm going to again select the back edge or the inner edge, whatever you get to call it. <clears throat> and then select the project tool and it projects that circle onto there. A pull tool, select that and pull it into a, into a hole. Now we've got two holes. Wonderful. Next action is to select the front solid and the move tool. Then using this blue arrow here I'm going to rotate this just one degree. You can just about tell that it's not parallel. Right, now we're going to perform the same action with these two holes. Now select that edge and the fill tool and we get a surface. Select the surface, you can select it over here, pull tool We've got narrow pointing straight out and then we drag it through and we should, oops, did you notice my deliberate mistake? Should 
should have selected the cut icon then drag and we've got a hole in it and again we're going to select this edge should just have selected it not use the pull tool right it's just selected now then the project tool now the pull tool and pull a hole in and turn this solid off and that's where we came in with four circular holes hope you found that interesting and useful bye for now bye